this section where the waterfall is, I wanted to try to capture some light coming into more of the center area, and so there are brighter highlights on the water, whereas in this lower area, it's in a little bit more shadow, and so the colors are cooler and they're more blue. Another thing that I wanted to capture here is pushing it way back into the distance, right in this area, and I'll talk about this as well on other parts of the painting, but it's called atmospheric perspective. When you're close, your colors are brighter and, and they're deeper. For instance, you'll see some of these trees, pine trees, in this area, and the colors in the rocks are brighter. As you get further back, they become cooler and they become softer. The same thing happens in the rocks and in the trees. So a really good piece of information is to create distance or perspective by fading the colors, they become cooler and they become softer. Okay, in this area, I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, the mountain and about these pine trees. In this area, we can see that we have a lot of pine trees. We have a lot of them in this area as well, as well as really, really close up. So what we've tried to accomplish with what we call atmospheric perspective in this case is that it's a lot deeper greens for the trees that are closer, more medium uh, in the middle, and then quite light colors in the distance. So that helps you create perspective, aerial perspective. There are a lot of other ways. One way is to, to call um, what we call linear perspective, and that can be used, let's say, in this kind of an area, where the lines, it's like the railroad tracks, where the lines come together and they diminish as they get further back. That happens in this as well. So you have linear and atmospheric perspective. Here's another place where we have atmospheric perspective. That is, this little area is closer to us than this area. And how do we know that? It's because the colors, they become softer and they become cooler. And so it's a little bit more lavender, a little bit more blue. And the edges of the mountain are softer as well in that area. So hopefully that has been... Uh, a really good piece of information as far as that goes. So one last thing I need to share that I, I wanted to point out is that when I first painted this, I knew in my mind that I wanted it to look like we were up on a mountain and the water in this area was falling over a ledge into this larger area of water. But I had painted it just kind of like this. And this wasn't here. And I asked people that would look at it, well, what do you see? Does it feel like you're up there and that this water comes down over the ledge? And that was hard for people to visualize. Then I was able to change that perspective by having just a little bit of this waterfall come out and you could see the side of it dropping. So when you see this happening, you realize that the rest of it falls off the side of the cliff and that helps perspective as well. I appreciate you being with us today, and if you want more information, you can go to KendraBurton.com.